Top 10 Gaming Movies of All Time Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time While Disney's Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time has its flaws, including a questionable cast, though Gyllenhaal made Prince Dostan endearing, it's still a fun watch for those seeking an adventure film. Most viewers are unfamiliar with the games. He may have been surprised to find out that the film was based on a video game franchise of the same name. Although the film deviates a little from the original story, its heartfelt script, humorous moments, and sense of adventure ensured the film was received quite positively. The Public Silent Hill 2000 SIXS Silent Hill is a long way from being the precise film it ought to have been, however it genuinely handed the disappointing sequel, and the filmmakers understood the video games sufficient to translate the visuals well. While the movie stays to be one of the lowest rated online game adaptations, fanatics of the sport have come to certainly love it. The movie's saving grace turned into the innovative selection that introduced the sleepy city of Silent Hill to life. Clunky communicate and excessively lengthy scenes aside, the movie is worth of a watch, even supposing only for the monsters. Tomb Raider Conflicting views over the latest Tomb Raider adaptation have left Alicia Vikander's film in a state of limbo between amazing and disappointing, but it served its purpose. After the rebooted games franchise released several games that showed the younger Lara Croft's treasure hunting adventures in a less objectified approach, the opportunity arose to recreate them on film. Most of the criticisms relate to Croft's constant beating in his own film, but the film doesn't shy away from the fact that it attempts to revive Croft's origin story, resulting in very human combat that balances Lara against her enemies in a more understandable and identifiable way. Resident Evil The Resident Evil games are highly acclaimed for their original story and genuine characters, but the 2002 film adaptation threw the games out the window, leaving only a semblance of their source. While the film and its sequels are far from ideal, their original stories are fun and admirable. The first few years gave way to cheesy transitions and awful one-liners, but they work well in this film. The film may not be a masterpiece or a respected ode to the game series, but it's exciting to see a zombie-infested world collapse. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Flashbacks to Sonic's haunting original live-action performance aside, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 did a wonderful job of living up to its predecessor by bringing video games to life. The family film understands the audience for which it is intended. Not trying to delve too deeply into the Sonic universe like a certain Super Mario Brothers movie did. In addition to Jim Carrey's fantastic portrayal of Dr. Robot Nick got the audience to see Knuckles in action, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 did exactly what it was supposed to do, creating a family-friendly story with touches of goofy humor and real heart. Tron Legacy where 1982's Tron made impressive waves with its release, the long-awaited sequel failed to impress critics. Most audiences, however, enjoyed the higher-tech revival. Sam Flynn and the characters he encounters, including part of the original cast, do a massive amount of work in world-building, creating a fleshed-out universe that fans still hope to see more of. From Daft Punk's welcome appearance and befitting album to the new and improved costumes, the film may have worked better as a game, but as a movie, it is certainly an underrated work of art. Mortal Kombat Fans of the 1995 classic Mortal Kombat might have been disappointed with the long-awaited remake, but the 2021 film did well to bring such a fantasy-based game into a more serious reality. The film's cinematography and combat sequences, which capture the over-the-top violence of the games, are compelling to watch. For a game series as one-dimensional as the Mortal Kombat series, the film does well to give heart to certain characters and isn't afraid to tear some of them apart. Hearts and show them to the audience. 
Wreck-It Ralph One of Disney's least talked about films, in part due to a lackluster sequel, Wreck-It Ralph put arcade games in the spotlight and gave them life in an animated film. The film focused on Ralph and his frustration with his everyday, pixelated life until he meets Vanellope, a neighboring character. Uncharted Critics and fans could squabble about the Uncharted film for hours, but the flawed film certainly caught on to some of the game's most important aspects. Nathan Drake's followers were delighted to see the beloved adventurer come to the big screen despite his age, and linked to a slightly less charismatic Sully. The film took various scenes from the games and stitched them together in live action for the world to see. Despite this, the film received a 90% viewer rating on Rotten Tomatoes for doing its best and offering a fun story to follow. Free Guy Players understand the harsh, non-existent life of an NPC or non-player character, so Free Guy finally gave these unsung heroes a voice on the off chance they have some sort of sentience. The hilarious commentary, delivered by a cast starring Ryan Reynolds as the main NPC, Guy, puts the film at the forefront of funny video game-inspired films. The balance between the player's real world and the way they interact with expendable characters in the game is so graceful that it's easy to fall in love with the story.